It's our biggest Formula student ever in terms of numbers of teams. We have 113 teams that were due to turn up at Silverstone. Um, the quality, even compared to last year, of the vehicles being produced by the students is um, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, we're seeing the most teams through scrutineering ever and some really, really high quality cars this year. When Formula Student began uh, in the UK in 1998, uh, it started off in Myra, which was uh, it's a proving ground up in Coventry. Um, there was only five teams attending, and of course back then everything was combustion. Um, this year we've got 32 electric teams competing, which is the highest number ever for the UK event, and over 50 electric teams actually applied to be part of the competition. So we're seeing a big trend in teams converting over to electric entirely, or teams such as Karlsruhe and Bath and Stuttgart running an electric combustion engine and an electric car uh, from the same university. Combustion's not out of trend in motorsport, people like the noise, but their electric cars are certainly able to compete at a very high level in certain elements of the competition, for example the acceleration. I think uh, the big thing is that we have four-wheel drive. Uh, I believe all the top teams have uh, either the motors inside the wheels or in a way that you can power all four wheels, which is very difficult for a combustion Formula student car. Uh, and also with the electric motors we have the full power and the full torque, uh, like all the forces right from the get-go, uh, which is not, and we don't have to switch gears. So basically we have the same acceleration along the entire straight. We looked at uh, both powertrain options right at the beginning of the design process, so we reviewed electric and combustion car, um, and the question we asked ourselves was what could we feasibly build as a team, uh, and looking at the who we had available to us, what our personnel were like, uh, and with our objective of winning, um, it made sense to us to stick with combustion because we didn't have the experience, we didn't have the infrastructure. We started with the combustion car, uh, we're running the KTM single cylinder, custom turbocharged, then we remapped to run on E85. Um, so we get a decent amount of power from a lightweight engine, uh, so we've got a very competitive car um, despite the fact it's combustion. Ours compared to some of the top teams is relatively simple. Um, we've not got crazy amounts of you know, DRS or complex systems on it, but we know it's reliable. Um, we've done a decent amount of testing uh, before coming to competition, um, and we've broken things, but that's the point of testing, uh, to break things and then figure out why they broke and make sure it doesn't happen again. Um, so I think we've got a really solid base car, uh, which is inherently fast.